let's discuss some of the key capabilities of CrowdStrike Falcon Zero Trust. The first key capability is segmentation. The ability to look at identity across multiple identity stores. We do this by pulling in all objects from AD and other identity stores within hours. We correlate that data into a single business card, and this provides visibility and classification of your users and endpoints based on their type. Human accounts, service accounts, privileged accounts, different types of endpoints, what privileges they have, what groups they belong to, and if they have one, what is their attack path to a privileged account. The second key capability is the ability to automate. Whether it's privileged accounts, accounts with an attack path, or a service account, CrowdStrike Zero Trust provides protection against these accounts, potentially acting maliciously. This can be achieved through alerting, triggering MFA to verify a user's identity, or blocking an authentication attempt outright. And the last key capability is the ability to verify. Whether it's a legacy application, a critical server, or a workstation, CrowdStrike Zero Trust can easily add MFA based on policy rules defined by identity, behavior, and risk. Just as important is the ability to understand your users enough to know when to trigger MFA and when to trust the user and not trigger MFA if it's not needed. Let's take a look at a demo of CrowdStrike Falcon Zero Trust in action. So Rita is an employee at Silva Law and her identity has been compromised. An attacker is moving laterally using her credentials while trying to log into a server that Rita doesn't typically log into. When the attacker uses Rita's credentials, he's challenged with MFA. He can't answer that MFA verification because it's taking place on Rita's phone, so he doesn't get access to that server he's trying to access. We can see that the, the attacker failed to get to that server because of the rule that was in place. But we can also see that switching to the preamp console, here we can see the specific incident, the fact that the policy rule was triggered because the attacker attempted to access an endpoint that is not part of Rita's baseline. It's not part of Rita's behavior.